My butt hurts. Yeah, if only we had some cushions by now. Whoa! Whoa! Should we make one for the middle too? <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Look at this! Well, why don't we go make some pizza and we'll show you how we made these babies. Let's get started! We're Chico and Moritz, and one year ago we posted our first video after we found our perfect home on wheels. Then, COVID hit. I'm ordering the mandatory closure of all non-essential workplaces in the province of Ontario. But we kept our spirits high and powered through. This was one year ago, and now we're getting ready to hit the road in a couple of months. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. I am so excited right now because we finally finished these amazing cushions. First, I wanted to thank all of you for helping us out back in January when we couldn't decide on what fabric to purchase and you helped us choose this one. It's a beautiful heather gray, super smooth, high rub factor and super thick cloth, you know. So we turned these into these box cushion covers with an envelope flap on the back. A little bit of cleavage on this one, but we're super happy with how they turned out. And I know Moritz is itching to samurai the foam apart, so let's get started. So we are turning our old mattress into some cushions. I've marked out our three pieces two for the dinette on each side and then we are planning to have a middle piece where the table usually goes and then we can have a large couch to hang out when we don't need the table. I guess I'll get started by cutting. And then we have 55. Cut it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a pretty good one. <laughs> yeah, we don't need this top layer or form a bottom layer, so I'll just try to rip it off. I freaking love sewing. It is my favorite thing to do. Let us show you how we put these together in less than one minute. First, draw your template on the back of the fabric. Next, cut straight ass lines. Apply basting tape. This is your secret weapon. We did not know basting tape existed. Actually, Mortz told me that he didn't know, but he didn't think anything of it. But this tape is super sticky and it'll pull your seams together so that you can just feed it through the sewing machine without having to use pins. And since we don't have an extra table, it helped us keep the entire shape of the fabric and the box together without us like really struggling with it at all. So highly recommend this stuff from Amazon. You get a billion of them for like 16 bucks. Buy it. Now stick those seams together and to the sewing machine. Flip it over. All right. Doing the final flip. Look Beauty. how beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Look at those beautiful straight seams. Exactly. Let's see. Wow. That's gorgeous. All right, time to stuff. Time to stuff. Maybe we still like push it all in and then try to do something. <laughs> Don't rip it. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, no. This is the worst part. Ow. Pretty nice. Nice. And? This is just a bit smaller. Oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, I could totally fall asleep on yeah, this. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this is quite comfortable. Uh-huh, it's a mattress. It is a mattress. <laughs> Thanks for the topping. It's good this time. Mmm. Mm. What do you like better? The pizza or the cushions? Cushions. If you could have one thing for the rest of your life, would you have the cushions or the pizza? <laughs> <laughs> cushions. Cushions, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Well, I would say let's take the pillows to the truck and see if they actually fit. And then I'll decide if I have pizza or pillows. Cool. That's awesome. This is freaking awesome. I didn't think it would turn out that well. I have my doubts of the couchability of this place. <laughs> Thank you everybody again for choosing the color for our amazing couch. It turned out so well. It turned out better than I thought it would actually. Yes. <laughs> Just to catch you all up on what's been happening, we put in our um, lease termination notice to our landlords. So the departure date has been set for May 15th. And we're hoping that Canada sorts their crap out by the time that happens because uh -huh. the vaccines are really slow in our country. We don't know how it is for you guys. We hope that you know, you're all in better positions than we are and that will really change up our plans if we have to come back to Ontario in like September, October to have to get our vaccines. So we're trying to stay flexible and open-minded as to what might happen. That's all to say around the pandemic. <laughs> what, what else? We're also working on figuring out the insurance for this truck. We haven't done a video on it yet, but currently our vehicle is only insured to the extent of us being able to drive it. None of this stuff in the box itself is technically insured and we have to convert it to an RV or like a motorhome on our insurance policy. So that's going to be a little bit of a piece of work. Um, we'll bring you a little up to date once we compile all of the pieces so that people who are in Canada, in Ontario, can kind of use our resources to help them along. You probably saw in our community section, I'm currently working on two pretty cool projects. One being our camera crane, so we don't bother anybody climbing with a drone. We just have this very silent crane filming us. And the second smaller piece will be our fan controller. Um, I really didn't like that I had to get up at night and turn it off when it went too cold. And I really just want to have something where I can again touch on my tablet. Your fan is going to be more... It's going to be better than a Max Air fan, guys. I was hoping you would say more fantastic. <laughs> Way more fantastic. <laughs> well, anyway, that's all we have for you today. We really hope you enjoyed coming along on this video of us constructing these very nice looking cushions, if I might say so myself. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you on the road to pitches. See ya! Ha ha ha!